So now we have entered into Good Friday, called good because Jesus did something wonderful and bold and self-giving and sacrificial for all of us. So on this day, Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus, is remorseful for what he's done, and he hangs himself. There's always a penalty to pay for our sin. Jesus now is handed over to the Romans by the chief priest, the scribes. They're preparing Jesus for uh, his death at Golgotha, at Calvary. Some theologians believe as uh, the priests were preparing the lambs for slaughter in the temple, Jesus, the Lamb of God, was being prepared for his death as well. So Jesus now has endured on this day several illegal trials. Uh, he's been marked for death, death on a cross. And so Jesus now, after being marked for death, he's led to the city of Jerusalem on this fateful day that we call Good Friday. And he's led up to a hill called Golgotha, Calvary. And as he's going, many people are spitting on him. And he takes the walk like a sheep led to the slaughter. And he goes up the hill. Jesus is in full control, but he freely gives himself over on this Good Friday. He's been lied about and he's been ruled a brigand, a troublemaker, and he is marked for death. And he goes up and at the precise hour, he gives up his life around three o'clock, a divine hour, a divine moment. And he turns his spirit over to God, his Father. Between Jesus' two thieves, one recognizes the moment and Jesus tells him that this day you'll be with me in paradise. Many of the women are weeping as Jesus is being led up to Calvary. God asks us on this day to reflect on our own sin and the gravity of our sin, the weight of our sin, but also the weight of his glory. Because Jesus full knows, even at Calvary on this Good Friday, that he will be raised from the dead by his Father in heaven. So on this Good Friday then, we look at our own sin, the weight of our sin, and we ask God to have mercy on us like the good thief. And we say on this Good Friday, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. We ask for this blessing, this mercy, that this salvific act of Jesus might be efficacious for us. For we ask, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever, amen.